Hi, I'm Derek Cedarbaum with Venerative, and I'm here today to talk about equipment level benchmarking. Now, I know many of you are familiar with building level benchmarking and its many benefits around identifying which assets may have certain needs for operational efficiency improvements or capital efficiency improvements via equipment retrofits. And I'm sure many of you are familiar with the fact that on average, your HVAC and motor systems tend to be oversized by about 25% during the design stage of a new development or during a retrofit process. That's a problem, right? Why is that? Well, today we are overly reliant on analytical models over empirical models because there's just, quite frankly, an insufficient amount of data originating from your machines. There's no way to tell how much it costs over a lifetime from an energy perspective, a maintenance or a repair perspective, which means that making equipment purchases are inherently risky if you are uncertain of the absolute ROI of that purchase, which then means that it is difficult to prioritize your capital investment decisions uh, from an equipment perspective. Uh, and ultimately that means that whatever investment you do decide to make, you will be uncertain of the total lifetime cost of operating that piece of equipment and what that ultimate ROI is until you reach the end of the lifetime of that piece of equipment. This is why uh, we at Enerative believe that the future is equipment level benchmarking. Now imagine a world in which you can benchmark where you can dynamically inventory every single motor, every single boiler, every single chiller, every single cooling tower and have an archived and an up to the date by the minute uh, data stream of your cost per kilowatt hour, your maintenance costs for repair uh, and maintenance and operations of that piece of equipment, the health rating that you might assign to a piece of equipment for your tenants, uh, and therefore the overall performance rating that you would assign uh, to a given system. Now this can also be segmented by say, the climate or the geography in which your assets are in, whether you've got a group of assets in Seattle, in Boston, in Texas and Miami, it means different things in terms of performance requirements uh, on your equipment. Depends on your building vertical, the size of the asset and the load requirements of say various motors, boilers, chillers, and the manufacturers makes and models and years of implementation installation, which pieces of equipment may have more of a maintenance need, which ones are less reliable, which ones per ton cost more uh, than another. And again, based off of and broken out by various segments. Now, the result of getting this granular data stream, which for us is done via circuit level uh, power monitoring of all the house loads across the portfolio to create this inventory of systems, you can then get this data driven uh, ranking system uh, to decide, well, which piece of equipment may be most in need of a retrofit. Well, just because an, a system might be older or might be based in Miami where there's a higher uh, there's more salt in say the atmosphere, doesn't necessarily mean that you'll have to go with that replacement every five years. Here, we've created a ranking system where we can tell you, based off of the various metrics that I mentioned, which pieces of equipment you might need to pay attention to. Therefore, relying less on the intuition uh, and the how about useful uh, audits that take place every year in many of your assets uh, to know exactly what investment to make, when to make it, to what extent and what to expect from that investment. No longer will you be relying on guesses, estimations for your investments to justify any ongoing investment or expansion of investment of say, VFDs across a portfolio. We'll be able to tell you, whether it's us or someone else, exactly the make, the model, the manufacturer that you can rely on and that you can expect optimal results from. Now, this is the future. Uh, we're gonna be a part of it. We hope you're a part of it. Uh, and if you'd like to hear more about how you can be a part of it, pick up the phone, give us a call, shoot us an email, hit us up on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you prefer. I'm Derek Cedarbaum with Enerative, and again, it's great talking with you.